Pep Guardiola, managing Manchester City is a great honor. Pep Guardiola described being Manchester City manager as an honor and privilege after seeing his side begin their quest for a fifth successive Premier League title with a 2-0 win over Chelsea. Manchester City played the match without a number of its key players, including midfielder Rodri and defender Kyle Walker, but it had a lot of firepower against Chelsea, as it claimed the three points at Stamford Bridge thanks to goals from Erling Holland and Mateo Kovacic. There was a lot of talk over the summer that this season would be Guardiola's last in charge at Manchester City, with the Spaniard now entering the final year of his contract. Some of this trend was supported by the Spanish coach himself, who hinted on the final day of last season, when Manchester City snatched the title from Arsenal by two points, that his time in office at Etihad Stadium was nearing the end. Whether this is his final season with Manchester City, Guardiola took over at the club in 2016, it is clear that the manager will always hold the club in high esteem. It is a great honor to be the manager of this group of players at this club, because of what we have achieved, he said. The good news is to get the first three points. The bad news is that we have 70 games to play. That's why the best way is to be calm, relaxed and of course enjoy the moment. It was a difficult start to life at Chelsea for new coach Enzo Maresca who saw his side struggle to convert chances in his first match in charge. There was controversy before kick-off when representatives of Raheem Sterling, who was left out of the matchday squad, issued a statement demanding clarity over the 29-year-old striker's future at the club, with Maresca later appearing to confirm there was an opportunity for the player to leave. Maresca was asked to clarify the club's position on Sterling's absence, and he replied, The only thing I can say is that it is a technical decision. In the coming days we will see that and clarify the situation. All the players at the moment are Chelsea players. If they are going to be Chelsea players, we will try to take advantage of them. I want Raheem Sterling, but I want all the players we have and there is no room for all of them. So some of them have to leave. Manchester City took the lead in the 18th minute, after Bernardo Silva received a cross pass from Jeremy Doku towards Holland, before the striker got rid of Mark Cucurella and scored the goal. Chelsea's best chance to grab a point in Maresca's first match at Stamford Bridge came from Nicholas Jackson, who turned in Romeo Lavia's header, but Ederson's reaction was blocked. Former Chelsea midfielder Kovacic, who won the Champions League with the club in 2021 during happier times for Chelsea fans, scored the visitors' second goal six minutes from time. But Guardiola praised Holland after scoring his goal in his 100th match with Manchester City. This was the Norwegian player's 91st goal with the club. I feel like he feels better compared to last season at this stage, Guardiola said. I felt like last season he was tired. He feels good. The goal was great. He has numbers on par with Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. In terms of numbers, he's on the same level. To score 91 goals in 100 Premier League games is unbelievable. It was also the first time since February 2022 that City had won an away league match without injured midfielder Rodri. It is important to win without him, Guardiola said. When someone says that Manchester City cannot win without him, we break all opinions. But I hope he comes back as soon as possible. At the same time, it's about surviving this period. Next up for Manchester City is the visit of newly promoted Ipswich Town to the Etihad Stadium on Saturday. Chelsea will play with the Swiss team Servette in the first of the first two matches of the Europa League playoff on Thursday before facing Wolverhampton in the English Premier League on Sunday.